this video I'm going to show you a couple of upgrades I'm doing to my wind turbine. I'm not bad mouthing anybody. I don't want a big, big flame war going on in the comments. If you want to make a comment though, we can all learn. I've got a Missouri wind and solar 500 watt PMA turbine. I'm real happy with all the products so far from them. Uh, the controller is great. I had to do some mods on that. I got another video where I put some fans on it. But the 500 watt when I was talking to everybody and ordered it, I was just going for a trickle charge. Well, I'm not getting any charge. Uh, it kicks in at six miles an hour. I, ex I expect something to bump that meter. Uh, it may have to get up to 15 miles an hour before I see something. That's not good enough for me. Uh, I believe in overkill. So I'm swapping it out. I'm gonna put a, uh, it's off eBay. Everybody calls him the California guy. I got it from hydrogenappliances.com. Uh, they got a couple other companies out there. This is the Ultra Core PMA. It's, I think, six, it's over 600 or 1600 watts. Uh, I'm hoping that that'll do a lot better job for us. It's got more copper in it. It's supposed to put out 25% more power. Another problem I'm having, I'll grab the camera here in a minute and walk you through everything, but it's not tracking. And tracking is the wind turbine technology. The layman's term, it's not turning fast enough. And by turning, I'm not talking about the blades. I'm talking about the wind, the wind vane. When that turbine's in the wind, by the time it gets turned, my gust of wind, I have gust of wind right now. It's not the winter. Winter, I've got epic winds up here, but right now I just get gust of wind. It doesn't turn quick enough. As soon as it turns, the wind dies down. It's not making power. It needs to have a bigger tail on it. I've seen mods already on video where guys have doubled down on their size of their tail of the, the turbine. Well, I think this is pretty cool. It came from the same guys. The Missouri Wind and Sower has about that much surface area. I'm more than doubling that. I was going to paint it black, keep the birds away. The birds ain't going to stay away. I haven't killed a bird yet, and if I do, I'm shutting the thing off and it's abandoned in place. I'm gonna paint it gray, just like everything else. I like the, the, I call it navy gray. That's the way the ships are painted. It's easy on the eyes when you look up and it's not an eyesore. I think wind turbines are an eyesore. So that's the mods we're gonna do. We're gonna put this on and I'm swapping this thing out. So I'm gonna have to grab the camera real quick and I'm gonna show you what I've got going on here. So there's my mounts. And I got a cable. And you can see this thing's tighter than a banjo right now. That's because the four wheeler is hooked up to it. So we'll walk around. This is mounted on a pivot. There's the pivot. Right there. Take those two bolts out. Now I can lean it. You see the bird feeders? Well, that board there, the turbine will lay down on it. I've already taken some of these boats loose. I'll go up the pole and take those boats loose. So that's gonna be one of the steps that we're doing. So uh, the next scene we'll be lowering this thing. Appreciate you watching. I'll just keep taking stuff loose. Got the remote.
there's a little tidbit. You need an Allen. There's a jam that the Allen's part of the. I'm gonna call it the axle for lack of a better word. And then just loosen it. Thing is, with these things, don't over tighten. If you over tighten them, it'll cog, and cog means clog. So uh, that's it, man. So we're gonna start taking this thing apart and uh, onto the next step. Real quick on these blades, these are uh, the Raptor blades from Missouri Wind and Solar. I'm gonna see how these do. I may upgrade to the uh, hydrogen appliance K2. I think they're KT2s. They have a more aggressive pitch, and I'll probably go, I'm probably wind up going to more blades. So anyway, on to the next step. Hi, I'm Jevin Dyer, your friendly Amish electrician. What? So I'm going to show you the difference in these things. I got it off. This is the Missouri Wind and Solar 500 watt. This is the Ultra Core Hydrogen Appliance, something else company. Teledyne, or I'm sorry, Thermodyne, if you really want to get it stirred up on the internet, but it's Thermodyne, it's like who the guy is, and he's making a quality product. So, this, picking it up, it's heavy. It feels like it's about eight, eight pounds. This, see what I'm doing? Pretty light. So that right there tells me this has got a lot more copper than this one. Granted, this is in the 1600 watt family. This is in the 500 watt family. But we all know they don't make what they say because you'd have to have a hurricane wind. So my expectation is is 1600 watt. Hopefully it's going to make 500 watts. The expectation with the 500 watt, I'm lucky I'm making 10 watts. And I'll be honest, I haven't seen 10 watts yet. So we're putting this big bad boy on. This is Jebediah signing in and out. What? It's Jebediah again. The Amish electrician. So it doesn't matter how you wire these up. You're like, what? It's three phase. One phase, two phase, three phase. That's all you gotta do. Makes it easy. So, a little misnomer. I knew this would bolt right up to the Missouri Wind and Solar because it's a Delco frame. By Delco frame, it's a car, car alternator. Well, I'll just buy a car alternator. No, you won't. I hope you don't. This is using the frame, but everything inside is totally different. It's got more copper. You can see the stator is bigger than the other one that I had. That means more copper. This has got a lot more magnets in it. Magnets, copper, make power. So, uh... This has got a lot more copper in it. So I'll be wiring it up next and then we'll be swapping the tail out. But I just want to show you it's three phase. Doesn't matter, wire them up, bam. All right. So I'm gonna show you the difference here. That's the Missouri Wind and Solar. This is the owl tail that I bought off eBay from uh, Thermodyne guys, hydrogen appliances. Big difference, so this is gonna track in the wind a lot better. It's supposed to scare the birds off too, but I'm gonna paint it gray. This is Jebediah, signing out again. This is Jebediah again, your Amish electrician. What? So, I got a Harbor Freight, made in China, I know, what do you do? It's on a remote, all I do is start hitting the button. Close and we're going to start erecting it. 